Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Muhammad y y uh, Yaya, Yaya versus Kai Fernandez. Muhammad, uh, Muhammad the a UAE warrior, 12 and 4, 4 and 1 in his last five fights, losing his most recent one against Trevor Peak, plus 260 underdog, 30 years old. One, you know, he's, he's, he was on a pretty good win streak before that against nobodies. But uh, 30 years old, 5'9 with a 73 inch reach, fighting Kai Fernandez, who's 8 to 8 and 2. You know, his last loss week is Mark DeCasey split decision. Looked pretty good in that matchup. Fought uh uh destroyed Felipe Douglas, who's 21 and 5, beat him by head kick, beat 6 and 0 guy, lost to a 7 0 guy, beat a 9 and 9 and 7 guy. Minus 350, 3 to 1 favorite for Fernandez. That doesn't even seem correct. 29 years old, 5'9", with a 73-inch reach. Everything identical in that aspect. The thing that really seems interesting for me in this matchup is Mohamed Yaya's grappling. You know, he has nine finishes, seven of them by TKO. He's been finished three out of four times in his career. Um, it, It's so hard because the peak fight, I thought he, had, he would be able to do a little bit more with his grappling. And he just really didn't look very good against a guy that is very wild and very hittable. Just didn't do very good. Kai Fernandez in the Mark DeCasey fight, even though he lost that matchup, I thought it looked pretty, pretty good. Uh, I thought his strikes looked very long, which was good. Six finishes, only, only been to a decision four times. Lost one, two, lost two. But beating, losing to a guy by split against Mark DeCasey, which I did think Mark won. That was by his grappling. I, I just think... Uh, Kai Fernandez in this matchup is going to make those adjustments. Those takedowns and the grapplings were lost him that last one, and it was still close. Uh, and his cardio was failed him a little bit. I believe that was a short notice matchup for Kai. Uh, I think so. I believe it was a short notice call on him. No, it wasn't. Okay, but I like Kai Fernandez in this matchup. I just think he does good, good things in this fight against a guy that... Just didn't look very good against Trevor Peak, who's also not very good. I do, and I, I am curious to see if Fernandez has fixed up his takedown defense because Muhammad's going to be going for that. But I think technically on the feet uh, and the speed, Fernandez is going to be worlds better. I have Kai Fernandez winning this matchup. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. Peace.